I'm uh, Willem. Uh, I'm 29 years old, become 30 soon. I'm Dutch. I was born in Maarhees. I'm living now for eight years in Amsterdam. I remember myself playing music when I was already a little kid, playing on pots and pans that I stole from my mom. And uh, further on, I got my first snare drum and I got drumming lessons when I was nine years old. Actually, I'm, I see myself as a more as an all-round drummer who tries to do a bit of everything and create my own style out of it. I think if Amsterdam was a musician, it was a jazz musician. When you're playing jazz, I think you have to open your ears, listen to everyone, improvise, uh, adapt, be new. You have to be in the moment. And I think Amsterdam is in the moment. I chose to go to Amsterdam because I wanted to study at the conservatory in Amsterdam. I chose this conservatory because of the teachers and the variety of people that are admitted in this uh, school. The teachers that I had were stimulating me and to, to get the best out of yourself. Um, also, they, they love to give you the chance to build a career inside of music and they um, offered you to be the best in your style. They really wanted to know in which style or which perspective you are the best in. Besides that, I love Amsterdam. It's a really pretty city with a lot of musical stuff going on. That's why I love to study and work in Amsterdam. When I entered this house five years ago, I was lucky enough there was a garden house because I was looking for a place to practice drums. And of course, because of the sound, it needs to be isolated. So I bought this drum cannon and installed it in this garden house. And now I'm able to practice day and night in the back of my garden. In this drum studio, I practice myself, but I also record Instagram videos, short videos of just one minute. And I do it just to inspire other musicians like other musicians have inspired me. I have a few projects that I work on. The main project I do now is playing with Jet Rebel. He's a famous pop artist in Holland. And I uh, do other side projects like a Springsteen project and a Prince project and a project of mine and a friend of mine is called Hype. I think Amsterdam is an international city. You have people from all around the world. Um, all these people bring different cultures inside the city. And I'm lucky to be in this situation that I can taste a little bit of everything. At the moment we are at the NDSM where if you take one of the ferries from Amsterdam Central Station, you arrive here. When I was studying at the conservatory in Amsterdam, I used to have my practice space in one of these containers. I shared it with a couple of friends and now I have my own practice space at home so I don't need it anymore, but I still miss the environment and the location and the inspirational spots around here. The industrial look of the containers and the creativity around here is superb. Sometimes I miss it. They are doing really interesting things with the area. For example, this crane, you think it's just a normal crane, but they build a hotel inside it. And I've heard the rooms are really expensive. Most of the times I have to carry my whole drum set to the gig and therefore I need a car, so that's the way of transportation for me from Amsterdam to all the different cities and villages in Holland. I think in Amsterdam you have a lot of different places where you can go to for different kind of music styles. 
That's why I chose also to go to Amsterdam. You have a lot of different people where you can play with. And um, I think that's a really nice and important thing that the open music industry in Amsterdam gives you a lot of opportunity to play whatever kind of style you like. I hope Amsterdam stays like it is at the moment. Of course, uh, technology-wise, we have to adapt. But uh, the coziness of the city, the nice people, the variety of people, the open atmosphere and open way of thinking, that's what I like about Amsterdam. So I hope that doesn't change. And for the rest, I'm happy here.